Today on the bench we're looking at a Mars Standing Wave Indicator model SW-10. This is a vintage standing wave meter. This is one I picked up a while back and as you can see it is in very crusty shape. Um, a lot of yellowing. It's like nicotine. Lucky it doesn't smell like nicotine. But as you see it's very dirty. Some rust spots on the top. The unit does still seem to function. See the uh, adjustment part is very uh, dirty. It's hard to get it right on set. And when you lease it, the meter sticks. So we're going to tear this thing apart and see if we can uh, get it back in its original look on the back of the unit there is uh, two switches one for the input one for the output this sets either one of the two from 52 ohms to 75 ohms I noticed this switch has been broken off on the input and when I open the unit part of the switch has fell out looking at the switch I can see someone has jumpered out the 52 ohm side so it works 52 ohms on the input completely when I took it apart I found that this wire immediately snapped off and uh, looking at the unit there's not many active components in the unit got the diode on each side um, two resistors on each side to switch and one capacitor in between the uh, meter terminals so um, not a lot of components to deal with mostly just clean up the pots um, redo the wiring strip it back and resort them on and check the components make sure they're fine looking over the internet I found very little information on this meter um, I saw no manuals. I did see a few of them on eBay for sale for around $19, dollars mark. But you notice the inside looks very clean. And uh, so, with no uh, documentation, you might want to, uh, when you're restoring an old piece of equipment like this, just take a lot of pictures and uh, draw a little circuit diagram so you know where everything went when you take it apart. As you can see, the unit's completely dismantled, all but taking everything off the uh, feed through for the RF, which I don't think I need to do. I can work on it like it is. Um, this is when you have to make your mind up on what are you going to do at this point. Um, if you can do a complete restore to the unit to make it look like a new you would take something like this plate and scan it in so you can print off new letters and stuff to go on it also on the back of the unit which got made in Japan in and out your ohms you would need to uh, scan that so you can uh, make replacement letters um, I think what I'm going to do just try cleaning the unit up with some good hot water and some soap and see how it comes out and looks and then I'll make my uh, decision then just on how far I want to go on this restoration um, like I say you can go complete repaint re-letter to make it look like a new unit or you can clean it up and get it back to its original look and uh, just do maybe some touch up spots here and there and like paint the outside of the case not the back um, that's going for this nostalgia look and is what I usually like to do so we'll get it cleaned up and see how it looks and there we go the meter has been cleaned up all the components inside checked and find to be in tolerance I have uh, cleaned everything 
clean the knobs if you notice there's still a few rub marks on the front panel <clears throat> I'm going to leave it I'm not going to do no repainting on this I think it looks good like it is and on the back <clears throat> see I have replaced a broken switch it's a little bit shorter than the original switch but it's of the same era and it fit in with no problem if you noticed the lettering for in and out 52 and 75 ohms is gone but made in Japan stayed so it kind of makes me think that this was printed afterwards as an afterthought I'm not sure um, it's hard to see I doubt the camera will see it mm doesn't quite want to focus it's still there I can read it with my eye with no problem the camera's not focusing on it so I'm not gonna worry about relabeling that this, this old meter is just gonna go up in my collection with the rest of my other old stuff anyway I just want to show you um, this meter was given to me a while back I've, all I got is time in it, just tearing it down, checking it, cleaning it up, putting it back together. So, this meter's not worth a lot, but it is a piece of nostalgia, and it will go into my collection. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.